budget, the finance minister, Ken Oforiata, announced a freeze on public sector employment. The last one that ended, employment freeze was one. But in that case, it was net. Net meant that if somebody retires, you can replace the person. So the net freeze is what we knew. But this one, we don't know the details, whether it is a net freeze or total freeze. If it is a net freeze, then it's like the previous one. If it's a total freeze, it's another ball game altogether. And what does that mean? What it means is this. If only 5% retire every year, you are talking now about over 30,000 people retiring. And if the 30,000 people retire and they don't replace them, it will affect service delivery. The Secretary General, Dr. Yahoba, also cautioned against freeze on salaries of workers of SOEs. The public sector unions are against that kind of statement because they think that that will take our right to collective bargaining from us. Salaries are negotiated and therefore negotiation is going to go on, proposals are coming from government and the unions in the public service will sit and negotiate with their management. And we do not agree that somebody should impose a salary uh, freeze uh, on, on the SOEs, especially the workers who are working for the SOEs. Government appoints the executives. If government wants their salaries to go down, that's up to government. But things that must be subject to negotiation, you cannot use a policy to stop that.